हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू एज यू ऑल हैव सक्सेसफुली कंप्लीटेड योर हायर सेकेंडरी स्टडी एंड यू ऑल एंटर इन टू द कॉलेज लाइफ अनफॉर्चुनेटली ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंट सर्कमस्टांसिस ऑफ कोविड यू कैन नॉट गो टू द कॉलेज बट लेट अस प्रे टू द ऑलमाइटी सो दैट सुन the things will get normal and all the campuses of the college again uh uh become live with your presence i know that your theory uh, work is actually regularly and successfully being done by most of the colleges through the online platform but we cannot because of the present circumstances laboratory work is not possible let us hope that once we get the vaccine soon we can also resume the laboratory work and practicals so i have plan to discuss the concept of the practical especially chemistry practical so in this video and uh, later some 3 4 videos i will discuss concept of the practical hoping that uh you must be aware with the concept of that practical so whenever you enter into the laboratory faster you can uh, carry out your work so friends you used to perform qualitative analysis in the 12th standard uh here also in college also semester 1 you have to perform qualitative analysis of inorganic salt some of the part is a newly introduced and remaining half is actually repetition of the qualitative analysis which you are familiar with so in this presentation i would share introduction part of a practical and primary test because if i discuss all the test with you then the size of video will be very long so i will a uh, a uh, break the whole discussion into several small videos so now let us discuss qualitative analysis of inorganic so as i said what is the new part so friends you were given solution ready made solution of the salt and you used to identify positive ion that is cation and negative ion that is anion from that solution here the difference is that instead of the solution you will be given solid powder of the inorganic salt so initially you will perform the test from the powder since you are not using the powder uh, solution that's why these tests they are called dry test so the whole that portion is a newly introduced here you are not familiar with that so dry test of positive and dry test of negative these tests are new in the college okay after completion of the dry test you will prepare solution of the same salt either in water or in hcl depend upon the solubility so the same solution were actually given to you and now once solution is ready then after all the test which you will perform with the solution are called a wet test because you are performing it with the uh, liquid and this is actually the repetition of the work or practical which you did in the 12th standard so we can say that friends half of the practical this qualitative analysis is a new part and remaining is actually repetition or you are familiar with so with this thing let us discuss qualitative analysis this is the sequence of the tests whenever you are given solid powder first always you will start with the primary or the preliminary test there are five tests in it state uh, color solubility in water litmus test and odor or smell dry test of positive ion there are four tests in this heating in the dry test tube 
फ्लेम टेस्ट बोरेक्स बीड टेस्ट एंड एन एच टेस्ट ड्राई टेस्ट ऑफ नेगेटिव आयन देर आर फाइव टेस्ट इन दिस टेस्ट विद डायल्यूट एच सी एल सेकेंड टेस्ट विद कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड थर्ड टेस्ट विथ मैंगेनिस डाइऑक्साइड एंड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड फोर्थ टेस्ट विथ कॉपर फॉइल एंड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड एंड फिफ्थ टेस्ट इज कॉल्ड फॉस्फेट टेस्ट सो दिस पोर्शन इज अ न्यू फॉर यू नाव यू विल प्रिपेर सोल्यूशन इफ युअर कंपाउंड पाउडर इज वॉटर सोल्यूबल यू विल फाइंड इट इन दिस हियर देन यू विल प्रिपेर द सोल्यूशन इन वॉटर बट इफ इट इज वॉटर इन सोल्यूबल देन यू विल प्रिपेर सोल्यूशन इन डायल्यूट एच सी एल देन आफ्टर from the solution you will perform wet test and here this is the part which you are familiar with so first from the solution you will identify the group group of positive ion so you know that group can be first group second group 3a group 3b group fourth group fifth a group and fifth b group once you identify the group then you have to perform the classification of the group from the classification of the group you will get positive ion and once you get the positive ion then you have to perform their conformative test after that you have to identify negative ion once you identify it then you have to perform the conformative test of negative so this is the end of the wet test once you get the positive ion and negative ion so you will report or write equations of both and finally you will report the result right so this is the format of the qualitative analysis of inorganic salt in your semester 1 so with this introduction and background let us discuss in this video the first and that is primary test this is the page from your practical book i must acknowledge the nero publication because from the uh, practical book published by nero publication i have taken this page so the first test is state friends don't write gujarat in this because you are given solid powder so you have to report that whether it is crystalline or amorphous how will you decide right now you are at your home so do after uh, watching this video do one thing take the table salt which we are using in a kitchen on your finger tip and rub your fingers you will find that you will feel the crispy because salt is a crispy and after that wash your hands and take talcum powder or face powder on your finger tip you will find that it is soft so if your inorganic salt pinch of inorganic salt you have to take on your finger tip and if it is like a salt then we will say it is a crystalline so here just read the whole inference if your salt is a crystalline we can say that it could be the salt of sodium potassium ammonium that is 5b group or these negative ions may be present and if it is amorphous if you feel like of uh, talcum powder then these negative ions carbonate phosphate sulfide oxide uh, may be present color uh, sometimes salts are colorless or they are white then these positive and negative ions may be present but we know that you studied about transition elements and you all knew that salts of transition elements are colored so if your salt is yellow it is written that here chromate salt of ferric cadmium sulfide lead oxide etc may be present orange indicating presence of dichromates pink mostly salts of manganese and cobalt light green ferrous dark green nickel chromium 3 etc blue mostly copper uh, black again copper nickel manganese so colors are important then the solubility how would you perform the test in a test tube take the pinch of substance 
and add distilled water shake it very well if your powder is water soluble it will dissolve and if it doesn't dissolve and set a uh, set at the bottom of the test tube then we will say your compound is water insoluble so solubility is very important test if your compound is water soluble then don't throw the content from the test tube because you can use it in the next test next test is a litmus test here it is written that only perform when your compound is water soluble if it is insoluble don't perform this test now let me remind you this is acid and reverse i have written red color so acid are the substance that turn blue litmus red so with this analogy you can remember it here i have written the reverse spelling of base and blue color so b is common in them so friends base they convert red litmus to blue so one by one you have to dip both the litmus paper in the pre, uh, test test tube if it is neutral on both of them we will say it's a salt of strong acid and strong base but if it turns blue litmus red so it is acidic so in that case salt of strong acid and weak base and if turn red litmus blue that is basic then we will say it's a salt of strong base and weak acid and finally last test is odor or smell in inorganic smell mainly you have to check the two different smells smell of ammonia very irritating and pungent smell and smell of rotten egg smell dirty smell now smell of ammonia how would you know that if you forget then once you go to the laboratory at your place some bottles are there they are called bench reagents so one of the chemical in bench reagent is ammonium hydroxide so that is aqueous solution of ammonia so just open that bottle and very gently smell it so that is a smell of ammonia and a rotten egg smell is a very bad smell of the sulfide so how would you know that because many of you may be vegetarian so you may not know the smell of rotten egg so friend in our laboratory always there is a one solution called hydrogen sulfide h2s so h2s containing same negative ion sulfide s minus 2 so open that bottle and gently smell it and you will find that it is a very bad smell uh, almost similar to the bad smell coming from the gutters so that is called rotten egg smell sometimes this happen that from the only powder you may not get the smell but many of the times when you heat the salt then you can identify salt but in this test we are not going to heat it so friends these five test tests they are called preliminary test we are considering them preliminary so we shouldn't come to the final conclusion but we are always writing that this may be present this may be absent so these are the test which we will use as a guideline but we should not come to the final conclusion unless we perform the confirmative tests so i hope that uh, in this video i have discuss the qualitative analysis its introduction dry tests are new wet tests are repetition of what you did used to did in 12th uh, format of the whole uh, practical and we discuss in this video a uh, primary test so now forthcoming video i would discuss the other tests which are dry test of positive negative preparation of solution wet test etc so i hope that you will read again uh, everything these details in this slide and uh, whenever the uh, things are normal and you go to the laboratory it may help you